No bears, but deer. Lots of deer and lots of mushrooms. There are a ton of mushrooms, <laughs> and I don't know if it's the Smurfs or what had my little girl so <laughs> interested in the mushrooms, but like every color she was on the hunt for. She said so, they were colorful. Yeah, yeah, it was very colorful. It was my birthday, and at the beginning of the summer, we made a summer bucket list with my little girl. And one of the things was camping. So, okay, well, that'll be a good weekend with the 4th yeah. of July and everything. Yeah. We'll go camping. And it was a lot of fun, and the weather wasn't too hot. We did camp with a <laughs> fan, though, and an air mattress. <laughs> All so. right. Was that little okay. camping there? Was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's roughing it. Yeah. That's my kind of roughing it, I too. don't know how you would have gotten through it without the fan I to agree. kind of help it's cool you humid. off. Very humid. And that's really going to be the weather story over the next couple of days. We're no longer going to see those widespread showers and thunderstorms during our afternoons, but it will continue to be very hot hot and humid across the area. In fact, that's one of the things that tops our headlines for today. A drier start to our work week. It feels like temperature with that humidity is going to be near 100 over the next couple of days. I'm going to be watching the tropics as well. If your family has a beach trip planned towards the Gulf, you'll want to pay attention to my forecast. We're going to talk about a potential tropical system that will be developing towards the Gulf in the next couple of uh, days. Looking at radar right now, completely dry across the area. Temperatures general in the upper 60s to lower 70s as we get going on this Monday. We've had some clearing skies and that has allowed for a little bit of patchy fog to develop in some spots. You can see we got some locally dense fog stretching from Cookville down towards McMinnville. A little bit of patchy fog along I-65 and over towards Decatur County as well where we saw some heavier rain yesterday. This is a live look outside 11. It doesn't look like we're dealing with too much fog there in Wilson County. Same story for Sumner County. Looks like visibility is good there in Gallatin. We're around 72. Here's a view of Franklin right now. I 65 looking nice and dry around 72 to start off. That's what our commute looks like. 72 degrees as we head into work warm with patchy fog as we go home this afternoon. Very humid outside around 91 with a spotty shower or thunderstorm. Here's a look at exact track as we head into the afternoon. Known this staying mainly dry as we get towards 12 o'clock. One or two spotty storms will pop up during the day. In fact, I think this computer model is painting on just a little bit too much in the way of the green there as we head throughout the afternoon. Very isolated in nature uh, for the day. Looking at temperatures around 90 across the area into the afternoon, that upper level low that gave us rain all weekend long is potentially going to become a tropical system. It's going to be heading south towards the northern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, uh, National Hurricane Center giving it a 70% chance of development in the next five days or so. Could give some heavy rain to the panhandle of Florida, potentially along the Gulf Coast there from Mississippi stretching over to Louisiana and Texas. We'll have a cold front come through Wednesday and Thursday, upping our rain chances by midweek.